Hi right, guys, welcome back. Today we are tying a Bilbio Snatcher fly. Uh, this fly is from uh, Ireland and uh, it's reminiscent of a almost like a uh, Griffith's gnat uh, wet fly. Um, so we're going to start with some 80 red thread and we're going to tie that in right in the middle. that back now we are going to wind this almost right down to the barb and we're going to tie in some holographic uh, tinsel and gold okay Now I have not tried this fly yet, but I will be trying it in the uh, early summer. And I believe this will be some amazing action with this fly here. And we'll tie that off there. Just want to give it a little tag on the uh, hook bend of this holographic tinsel. Okay, we'll straighten her up now. And now some dark brown, almost like furnace. You can either use hen hackle, saddle hackle. It really doesn't matter. I'd actually like to change up the the different uh, colors. So I'm just looking for a hackle. That's going to uh, work for this sort of um, hook gap. And I like that one there. And we're going to tie this in from the stem of the hackle tip. Now the problem with this is a lot is that when you're tying it in from the stem, it has the, uh, usually it likes to break a little bit. So the other option there would be to tie it in from the hook eye and then come on back with it and then wind through with your thread. But we're going to give this a shot here and hopefully it does not break on us. If it does, well, we'll have to start all over again. So for the body, we are using some Ice dub, some green and black in, in this one. Just going to dub that right onto the thread. I'm just going to wind that. Try not to catch any of those hackle fibers in there. Try that again. Yeah, the first time I seen this pattern, I thought to myself, is that a Griffith's knot? And I said, no, because it does have some uh, goose by it. So it's almost re reminiscent of stonefly, or even a caddisfly for that matter.
Getting pretty excited, I gotta admit. It's uh, getting close to mid-March now. And uh, we're a little over a month away from trout season opening up. And that means steelhead right off the bat. And just a little bit more. Now, the moment of truth. Let's see if this doesn't break. I'll start winding that forward. we've made it. Now we're just going to bring that back a bit and cut off, clean this up a bit. And now we're going to tie in some uh, brown, bright brown juice by it. I'll just take a couple of those off. And you want those going back about three quarters of the way. Tying those in. Let's see how that looks there. Secure that in once you're happy with that. Cleaning up the head a little bit there. Okay. And I'll grab one more piece of the hackle again. I'm not going to do too many turns with this one. This one we're tying in at the stem. I want those longer fibers right off the bat. And grab our hackle pliers. And wind that back. You want to pull it back. Clean it back as they say. Just capture that. And we'll clean that up a bit. Pull back all the fibers. There we go, and clean up the head a bit. And if you got any loose fibers, you can cut them, cut those off. And now we'll just take a little 
whip finish here. And add in a little bit of Sally Hansen's to secure that head with the thread. There you have the Bilbo or Bilbio Snatcher. I don't know if I'm actually pronouncing that right. Uh, this pattern, I'm assuming, will work great as a uh, dry or a wet, uh, just in the film of the water. Um, and it should uh, work great. I'll let you know how it turns out uh, come early, early summer. And I hope you enjoyed that. And we'll see you next time.